Ah, uh, so the news has finally broke. Well, it actually broke a few days ago, but I'm just finally getting around to this. Microsoft bought Bethesda. And, yeah, it's pretty damn surprising, but once you actually look into it and really, really use some critical thinking, it's actually, I don't think, as surprising as you might think it is. So, yeah, it's a big deal. Microsoft bought Bethesda, and along with all of their subsidiary studios like id and arcane and they're all going to be under the microsoft wing and that is a big deal and all the sony ponies are adequately triggered because all of them believe that microsoft is cheating by buying studios okay whatever it's console wars are stupid but hey well you gotta talk about something, right? In video gaming, this is kind of a big deal. But Microsoft bought Bethesda, and Bethesda, if you really put some thought into it and look at their, fa their uh, last few games, it's actually not that surprising, because let's be perfectly honest, Bethesda has kind of struggled lately. I mean, their last undoubtedly good game, I think, was Skyrim. And I think public opinion has began in the past year to really look at Skyrim and say yeah it's a good game but it does have its faults and there are plenty. Hell I'm playing a modded version here in the video because if I go back to Skyrim it's just got too many issues that I think it, it needed some work. A little more polish. Yeah, it's nine years old, but that's also a point. That thing is nine years old. We haven't had a new Elder Scrolls game yet. There are no new Elder Scrolls games this generation. Elder Scrolls has missed a generation of gaming. Why? I like to think because Bethesda doesn't know what to do with the franchise after stripping things down for a more casualized audience in Skyrim, which also leads into Fallout 4, and that game's myriad of issues. That game is a shooter with RPG elements. That is not a role-playing game. Fallout 4 was trying to be the Skyrim to Fallout's Fallout. But I think it missed the mark a decent bit. Even though it is a fun game, it's I played through it once and it took me a while to get through it the first time. It was fun, but it was lacking a lot of things. And then Bethesda's next game was... Well, I guess Elder Scrolls Online came out, but that's been a wet fart ever since it came out. That game has been a mess, and I'm honestly surprised that servers are still up, to be perfectly honest. Then we have... Do we even need, need to bring it up? Fallout 76, guys. Fallout 76 was the game that I think has shown how weak Bethesda's position is right now. They don't know what direction to take their games in and Microsoft I think probably saw that a bit and offered up the big chunk of change it's not even necessarily for their future games that back catalog obviously has gems in it Skyrim Oblivion Morrowind Doom Eternal is already coming to Game Pass that just got announced a day or two ago I mean those games are, I think, what Xbox is mainly after. Obviously, Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be a humongous deal in all of the games Bethesda is going to come out with. And hopefully they can get Obsidian and <laughs> Bethesda to work on a Fallout New Vegas 2. That would be amazing. But Xbox and buying Bethesda, I mean, it's something to be excited for. Game Pass is going to... I don't have Game Pass, but... Man, I am thinking about it. If they really start rolling out the back catalog of Bethesda on the Game Pass, that is enormous for Xbox. And obviously, what Bethesda is going to do in the future with their uh, subsidiary studios is going to be massive too. But Bethesda, this is a studio and publisher, well, was publisher, that just, they're in flux right now. They have issues and they, I think, are missing that direction. They are stripping down Fallout and Skyrim, Elder Scrolls, I should say, to try and appeal to a casualized audience, but I think that is a big issue as to why we don't have an Elder Scrolls 6. Todd Howard and company don't know how to probably casualize Elder Scrolls anymore. They have to start adding in more RPG elements. 
and more RPG elements, I think, in the Fallout, whenever the next Fallout game comes out. They just need to drop Fallout 76 and the support. Come on, guys. The Fallout 76 players joke has been done a million times, but is there anybody who's actually playing that game right now, unironically, and enjoying it? Can we even, like, talk about that creation engine for a second? That thing was cobbled together for Skyrim, and barely, it was begging for death for Fallout 4, and it is beyond begging for death for Fallout 76. That game is one of the worst games ever made. I don't know why Bethesda continues to even support it. Just, just drop it. It sucked. You missed. You just move on. Take that team and put it towards Elder Scrolls. But Bethesda... God freaking speed, guys. Todd Howard, he already said the Xbox... Ex or Elder Bethesda games will not be Xbox exclusive, but I don't think he's got the final say in that. The Xbox has already said it's going to be a case-by-case -case basis, which is an interesting look at, but Xbox might have just won the next generation just on Game Pass alone by buying Bethesda. Yeah, it is that big of a deal, guys. Thanks for watching.